tell us, you know, what's new at Loft? Yeah, we had two big announcements. Uh, one is we open sourced a Rancher integration for vCluster. That's very exciting. More Rancher users can hit the ground running with vCluster than ever before. Uh, it's completely open source, so really easy to get going. Uh, and the second announcement is even bigger. We announced a new product called vNode. We've been virtualizing Kubernetes with vCluster since you know 2021 uh, for quite some time now. Uh, we've become really the multi-tenancy experts in the in the Kubernetes space, and we've seen a lot of people ask for, you know, how do we do hard level, you know, node level hard harder level my uh, multi-tenancy beyond control plane isolation, and uh, you know we've seen people play around with cutter containers and you know, Gvisor and, and a whole bunch of other tools, but they aren't really great. There are a lot of limitations to it. So we thought let's make our customers and user community happy and uh, and build something that works perfectly great on Kubernetes with namespaces and with virtual clusters. I will start with the Rancher integration. Uh, talk about what was the driver behind that? We've seen a lot of people, you know, adopt Rancher and, you know, wanting to spin up virtual clusters in their Rancher instance, make a, uh, you know, self-service virtual cluster accessible uh, to Rancher users um, in their instance. And we've seen a lot of folks, uh, you know, in the Rancher GitHub repository open issues saying, hey, uh, we would love to see vCluster as part of Rancher. And uh, we, we shipped a commercial Rancher integration about a year ago. We announced it at KubeCon actually as well. And uh, yeah, we, we've seen good adoption uh, in our paying customer base, right? But we felt the need, you know, there, there are so many people that adopt Rancher uh, open source, right? And they want to stick to an open source stack, right? Uh, so we thought, you know, more vCluster in the world is better. So let's just uh, open source this Rancher integration, right? We actually re-architected it to make it even better integrated in, in Rancher. And the open source project is available uh, now on, on GitHub and everybody can get going with it. One second, why needed to open source it when it was already available, that integration was already there? Yeah, just to make it accessible to more people. Easier to install, right? Easier to get going. You don't need a license key from us. You don't need to swipe a credit card, right? You can just get going and, and hit the ground running, right? And ultimately, you know, we, we believe, you know, people are spinning up vCluster open source without us as well, right? And sometimes we find out, you know, they, they knock on our door after they've already created 500 virtual clusters on their own, right? So why create a hurdle to do that with Rancher, right? Like, I think I think that was kind of the, the train of thought on our end, right? If people are doing this with spinning up vClusters with Helm and Terraform, why would we guard, you know, spinning it up with Rancher, right? As long as it's open source vCluster, people should be able to create it in any environment, right? Whether that's with, you know, Terraform or Terraform Cloud or, you know, Rancher, um, that should be easily accessible. So, yeah, we decided to open source it.